Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 tips you should know before traveling to the Republic of Palau. Alright, so I have my 10 tips right here. My notes are kind of messy, but yeah, let's get right into it. Tip number one. So Palau is a republic. We are an independent country, but we're under the Compact of Free Associations with the United States of America. And with that being said, some things are Americanized. For example, the emergency line, just like America, is 911. So if you come across an emergency, please dial 911. Our courts and outlets are what you would use in America. So if you're traveling from Europe or other places that have different courts, I'd suggest to get an adapter. Lastly, we use US currency. Credit cards are accepted, although you have to double check with each establishment because they might not take credit card. And then also I noticed in Palau, a lot of places don't accept American Express. Tip number two sunscreen. A lot of sunscreens are banned. If you're traveling to Palau, make sure the sunscreen you're bringing is re-friendly. And yes, the rangers do check. With the tour company I used to work for, almost every time a ranger pulls up and makes sure everyone has the right sunscreen. Tip number three is permits. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the two main permits. So the first permit I'm going to talk about is the Rock Island permit. The Rock Island permit costs $50. This is a permit you'll need if you want to go scuba diving, snorkeling, even just go swimming at the tourist spots such as the Milky Way, Soft Coral, Rose Garden. You'll need the Rock Island permit. The second permit is a Jellyfish Lake permit which costs $100. So the Jellyfish Lake permit is the permit I recommend because the Jellyfish Lake permit allows you to do everything the Rock Island permit allows you to as well as go to the Jellyfish Lake. So tip number four. So like I said, I used to work at a tour company as a tour guide and a lot of the guests we get are always so surprised about the price range in Palau. I think a lot of people expect Palau to be like Bali or the Philippines where things are fairly cheap, but this is a heads up to let you know that it can be pricey in Palau. But don't let that scare you because I truly believe that it's a great place to experience. It's so beautiful and well worth it. So speaking of prices, I'm going to take you to tip number five, which is go to local stores or gas stations to buy what in Palau we would call magit. Magit is basically food that locals make and sell at the stores. They're really good pretty cheap and if you buy magit you'd be supporting locals so that's one way to save money while you're traveling around Palau. So Palau is one of the eighth ocean wonders of the world. We're known for our rich sea life. I think it's a must to experience marine activities such as diving and there are lots of tour companies which you could look up and pick whichever suits you. But tip number six is if you're wanting to do other things rather than marine activities there are other things you could do such as travel to Babaldab, which is the northern part of Palau. So Babaldab is so beautiful. It's completely different to Koror. There's more nature. You could go to the waterfalls. You could visit each state. You could even take a short plane ride to Blilio, also known as Peleliu, and Ngiao, also known as Angaur. That's another really fun activity because the view is just amazing. I'll list more other activities down in the description box. Tip number eight. If you're not afraid to spend a little money on food, here are some places that I recommend and I have them separated in different categories. Tip number nine. Palau is a fairly safe place, but I like to advise everyone that no matter where you are, whether the place is really safe or not, to always practice safety measures because you can never be too safe and never be too prepared. So always stay safe. Tip number 10. So one of Palau's slogans is, it's a pristine paradise. And with that being said, we really value our cleanliness and appreciate 
all our guests for coming and experiencing our culture as well as respect our land. I want to thank you in advance for keeping our home clean. Alright guys, so that concludes my video on 10 tips you should know before traveling to Palau. Also, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments. You can also send me a message on Instagram if you have any other questions. And thank you for watching my video and I'll see you again next time. Bye!